This video demonstrates how to use the Java EE8 CDI 2.0 feature to help simplify and improve the structure of your application code using Application Developer. CDI 2.0 is a Java EE8 feature which includes enhancements that change the way events and observer methods of the incoming events behave and interact with each other. In a synchronous scenario, if there are multiple CDI observer methods defined, the priority annotation allows you to execute the methods in a certain order. In an asynchronous scenario, there is a new method to fire events asynchronously to free the client from a long blocking request, as well as a new annotation which can be used to observe the incoming events. This video will focus on the async scenario. A benefit of using Application Developer 9.7 to enhance your application to use CDI 2.0 is the integration of capabilities that Application Developer offers. It supports the Java EE8 features, including CDI 2.0, by providing Java Editor support, including Content Assist and Quick Fix capabilities. Project Facet support, for example, a web project allows you to select a CDI 2.0 Project Facet. You can also package a version 8.0 ear. It provides support for an application that uses the CDI 2.0 feature to run on a server that supports Java EE8, such as Liberty. Application Developer includes the IBM JDK version 8, which is required for Java EE8 support. Using Application Developer will enhance two web projects to use CDI 2.0. For this example, we'll enhance the web project called Web Market Research Customer. First, check that the web project supports CDI 2.0. Right click the web project and go to Properties, Project Facets. Note that the Context and Dependency Injection CDI, Project Facet is at version 2.0. Do the same for the web project called Web Market Research Moderator. Right click the web project and go to Properties, Project Facets. Note that the Context and Dependency Injection CDI, Project Facet is at version 2.0. Next, update the servlet in the Web Market Research Customer project. On the right side, there is an outline view of the market research customer servlet and the do post method is selected. We want the servlet to asynchronously fire an event called customer feedback event, which contains a payload that holds the customer's feedback during a market research session. Update the do post method and enter the following. Notice that the content assist is provided to help with the coding and you can select the fire async method. The first argument of the method is the customer feedback event instance. The second argument of the method is the notification options. Content Assist helps you select the methods for the notification options. For example, you can select the of method where you specify an option name and an option value. Since I want to specify a timeout and Liberty uses weld, I'll select the of method. For the option name argument, I'll specify a weld specific timeout option. For the option value argument, I'll specify a timeout of 5000 milliseconds. Note that this is an implementation detail specific to a runtime, such as Liberty, that uses weld. For convenience, I'll copy and paste this block of code. Next, update the Web Market Research Moderator project. We want a method in the Customer Feedback Counter class to observe asynchronous events. On the right side, there is an outline view of the Customer Feedback Counter, and the Get Customer Feedback method is selected. Enter the following. Notice that Content Assist is provided to help with the coding. Also, notice that there is an error indicating that observes async cannot be resolved to a type. You can right click the error, select quick fix, and then import observes async. The compilation error is now resolved. Notice that these web modules are part of a larger application, and that application is packaged as an ear file using an enterprise application project. Here is the WAR file I updated as well as a second WAR file I updated. And here is a utility project. Make sure that the enterprise application supports Java EE8. 
right-click the application, select Properties, Project Facets. Verify that the ear file is at version 8. Go to the Servers view. Notice that the Enterprise application is running on the Liberty server. Make sure that the Liberty server is configured properly so that the feature for CDI 2.0 is specified. To do that, double-click the server configuration, Server XML New Server, and select Feature Manager. On the right side, you'll see that CDI 2.0 has been installed on this server. Another thing you can do is click on the console view. This displays the Liberty server version, the IBM JDK version, and it also displays the features that are installed, including CDI 2.0. Go back to the server's view. Now that the code has been updated, republish the application. Next, run the application. The first thing I'm going to run is the Market Research Moderator web app, which contains the observer method with the observes async annotation. Now, I'll run the Market Research Customer web app, which has been updated to asynchronously fire the customer event that contains the customer's feedback data. Enter the input data. The pie chart that's displayed as part of the Web Market Research Moderator web app observed the event and displayed the results. The console view in Application Developer shows that the application completed successfully. That concludes the using Java EE8 CDI 2.0 demo.